We are going to fetch JSON data from assets directory and display it in the recycler view using the MVP design pattern. This video is in response to the request, thank you for that. So let's get started. If we see our diagram MVP, the repository contains two data sources which is local database and the remote database. So this is the JSON file which we need to display in the recycler view through the MVP design pattern and this is available in the assets directory. So these are the list of drinks we want to fetch. Let's minimize this one and go to the repository. So our repository contains two data sources which is remote and local. So we want to update the local data source this which is this one. We want to update this local data source so that it can return the JSON data from uh, from an assets directory. First we need to add a constructor. Empty constructor. Assets data is available from the assets method. So let's create a member variable asset manager m manager we want to pass this assets from the activity so create a member variable in here asset manager which is asset manager and make it as this dot manager is equal to asset manager you will see we can see that this is one problem it is obvious because we need to pass this asset manager from the activity so let's go to the activity and uh, here is the error coming so let's call the method get assets now we want to load the data so let's create a function which is uh, initialize asset data after that we need to load the JSON file from the asset directory which will return the string name this function as load JSON data this should be a function json data is equal to null then we need a, we need an input stream to load the data into that and then we want to read the read that stream make it as input stream and from the assets manager this dot manager open in here we want to pass the file name which is this drinks json drinks dot json so it is saying that exception should be handled in this one let's add and try catch now we need to create a byte array as buffer and initialize it from available byte stream available input stream and now we want to read this from to the buffer close this input stream and update the json string we need to pass and then buffer pass the UTF-8 char set so the next thing is we want to return the JSON return JSON okay. now we need to call this JSON in this one let's call it as our asset json data is equal to 
load json data if we see our json this is the json object in which and a json array is available so we want to create a variable for the json object this is the new json object from the string this requires as json exception should be handled so go to this now we want to create a json array from this json object getting the json array and uh, the name will be these strings okay so the next thing is we want to iterate this json array and then update this drinks local list so we want to create an iteration here so now we have initialized this local rings in here next thing is we want to call this function in the constructor so that first time it can be initialized so now asset json is now completed let's run this application at this stage so it should return us some random drink from these from this list so this is returning us the random drink from a json which is this one before moving on to the next part displaying this drinks list into the recycler view subscribe to the channel to get more updates let's first add the recycler view in the layout drag and drop recycler view in. so add an id for this recycler view add a member variable for the recycler view now we need an adapter for this recycler view So our basic adapter is now completed and recycler view is now showing the empty list. So we want to update this list with the drinks from the JSON. First we want to pass this drinks list back to the view. So for this purpose we want to add a new method in our callback. We'll name it as get all drinks this will return a data callback with all the drinks so let's create an interface for that one also it is now showing an uh, error for us because in the implementation we have to add this new method When this method is called from the repository we want to return the drinks list to the callback so just we want to return in here is callback dot drinks loaded and return the drinks list which is drinks list local so going back to the repository this will this method will be called from the presenter we want to call, get all the drinks from the local data source so calling that uh, local data source dot get all drinks here we want to initialize this is the callback so in this callback this return drink list will be 
called here in this callback callback dot data loaded we want to pass this drinks list so this will return our drink list back to the callback where it is called next thing is we want to call this get all drinks method from the presenter so let's go to the presenter the method will be in the presenter contract so if we open this presenter there should be a new method which is get all drinks and also in the view we need to add this method so that we can update it in the recycler view this will be returning us the list of drinks so in the implementation there should be an error coming so let's implement the new methods here let's first go to the presenter and call this method from the repository in the return callback when the drinks list is returned we need to call the view to pass that drinks let's rename this method here to show all the drinks display all drinks okay so this is uh, this will pass the drink list so before calling this from the repository get all drinks we need to show the progress bar to the user and when the drinks list is returned we need to hide the progress bar the next question is from where we can get all the get all these drinks so let's call this method from the start when the presenter is being started initial logic implementation so first we want to suggest a new drink to the user and then we want to display all the drinks to the user okay if we go into the main activity so this is the method in which drinks are returning from the repository so we want to update the recycler view let's call the let's uh, update the drinks list directly from the adapter and uh, rerun the application here so the list is being returning okay so it is because uh, so the layout height should be web content okay so let's uh, this is the drinks list so this drinks list is being updated from this one so let us check by by removing any item from the list let's remove the first one and uh, rerun the application as you can see the first one is first item is removed so this completes our video if you enjoyed this one hit the like button 
and be sure to subscribe to the channel to get more of this type of videos. See you on the next one. Thanks.